Hey everyone, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. Today is Biscuit's 16th birthday. It's January 27th, 2017. And I'm going to be doing a scrapbook layout. It's actually, I'm going to do a double page layout. And I thought I would share the process with you guys. I haven't done a layout in probably a year and a half, two years maybe. And so this is something that I'm a little rusty on, but I thought I would go ahead and come on and share it with you. Um, I'm using this beautiful paper collection. It's new at Michael's. It's a recollections collection that is called C'est la vie. And I thought for the background, I would just start with this stripy black and white background. And then I've cut down the adorable poodle pattern. So I'm going to just lay that down. About two thirds of the way down would be this middle point of this pattern paper. Now I want a ruffle detail at the bottom here, and I have done this before, but I absolutely love the look of this technique. It's to take plain party streamers, that's that crepe paper streamers that you can buy at any party supply store, and I'm going to cut it down in half. I'm not worried about it being perfectly straight because all of this jagged edge area is going to be hidden, um, but I want to pleat this to create a nice ruffle detail at the bottom. Now I've heated up my heat gun here and I'm going to pleat this just right here along the edge. Now I don't know if there's a correct way of doing this but basically I just kind of put a little dot of hot glue on the front side and I push it down with my finger. Now I've got Teflon fingers so if your hands are more sensitive please be careful and use a silicone brush or a spatula or something like that to save your fingers. I am just putting a little drop of glue on the front and a little um, line about an inch or so on the back side, and I just keep pleating, tucking, pleating, and it's really easy. It's a little time consuming, just it's depending on how many ruffles you want but I think the results are well worth the effort. It comes out looking really feminine and this is super inexpensive. You can get a big roll of these streamers for about a dollar. Then I took this awesome little poodle washi tape that I've been hoarding and I have just enough, I think, to cover across the base here. And I'm gonna put that there so that that's the top part of this little pleat. And I've backed it with white cardstock because it's relatively translucent, so you can kind of see through it. And I didn't want the pattern of the pleating or the poodle pattern paper to show through this washi tape. Of course, since the adhesive is covered with the cardstock, I need to hot glue this into place. So this is a cut apart from the paper collection and I just matted it with some pink cardstock. I actually had to color this pink cardstock, just the edge really, with a couple of Copic markers to try to better match this washi tape down here so that it would be carried throughout the layout. Actually, hmm. <laughs> Before laying that down, I want to lay down this border. I'll lay it down so that this row of poodles is showing. Now, wonky matting really goes against my OCD grain, but I really wanted to try and do something a little bit more whimsical and easy breezy. So I'm matting that picture of Biscuit looking to the left a little bit wonky on two different uh, pattern papers from that paper collection. And now I am going to layer in a big doily underneath the bigger picture of Biscuit that's facing more toward you. And this is in a series of photos that um, show Biscuit going from alert to napping, <laughs> which is what she does a lot of now as a very senior dog. <laughs> As you can see, I am a little rusty on doing layouts. I am fiddling with the placement of these pictures, the matting, the layering. 
I finally get the big picture down positioned over the doily, but you'll actually see in a little bit that that doily is moved again. <laughs> um, I'm placing another die cut doily. This is a beautiful Valentine's one that I had been gifted. I thought adding these doilies would add a softness that balanced out the ruffles on the lower part of the layout. And I also thought that it would add a bit of a feminine touch. Now I'm going to be placing these uh, die cut letters. I die cut them from pink cardstock using Lawn Fawn's Kohl's Alphas. And I die cut each letter out three times and stack them so that they would have a thickness like thickers and it also gave me a chance to perfectly match the color of these letters with the matting and the washi tape. I had dry fit kind of loosely all of the letters so I knew that they would fit above the main picture here of Biscuit. And I'm using art glitter glue which is a wet glue with a fine tip nozzle to glue all of these uh, DIY thickers into position. And then I wanted to add a little stripey detail to the Life is Beautiful cut apart and also to the main picture. I think adding these strips add a continuity with the stripes in the background. For the right hand side layout, I'm going to adhere a doily in the middle toward the top. And I'm trying to figure out the positioning of the next photo of Biscuit, which is her kind of starting to get a little drowsy, her head's kind of coming down, her eyes are getting heavy. And again, I'm going to mat this one on the fleur-de-lis blue patterned paper with a gold foil, and then a light pale pink patterned uh, scroll paper. It's all from the same collection. And I'm trying to figure out the positioning of it, but then I realize, ooh, I need to do the border strip again. So that needs to go up a little bit higher, and I'm finding the positioning of that border, again, to make sure that the one row of poodles is visible above the poodle washi. I wanted that background poodle paper to show up a little bit, and now I'm positioning the photo there, and I decided I'm going to layer on a square doily. This was gifted to me by Faith and Frankie, and... <laughs> I'm going to mat that a little bit off kilter and put my journaling card on top there. That's actually a cut apart from the collection and there's a bicycle behind that text there. I printed out that text on my computer because I don't like my handwriting, but it basically talks about Biscuit and the changes she's going through and how grateful I am that she's doing so well at the age of 16. And this is the last picture on this double page layout. And it's a picture of Biscuit sound asleep in her dog bed in the living room. Her head is tucked in there. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but um, I'm just trying to find a good position for that. And I think I skipped or I missed uh, layering a square doily behind that, but you'll see it in the final pictures. Um, one thing I will say that during this process, I did remember not to put adhesive too much along each piece until I was really sure of the placement of things because I ended up lifting up and repositioning almost every piece of both layouts. And again, I decided to do another little strip of that black and white stripey pattern paper, and I'm adding that to underneath that picture of Biscuit sleeping and I had one positioned in that journaling um, square too. That Eiffel Tower is part of the cut apart page and I hand fussy cut that out because I wanted that to be the end point of that blue and gold foil Florida Lee pattern paper border. And on the upper left of the left side layout, I'm placing an adorable little poodle resin piece that was gifted to me by Nat who's my Nashka and the owner of NSK, Natasha Scrapbook Corner. I have these old wooden alphas and I think I'm just going to fill in a little bit here with some of these hearts. Even though they cover up some of the poodle pattern paper, I think these are nice little added embellishments. I have these American Crafts St. Valentine's stickers. They're dimensional little stickers and I thought to carry the mint color up a little bit higher into the layout, I thought I would add that there. 
and maybe add this here. Yeah, I like that. And I think adding this love you banner above the poodle is perfect. So I'll add a picture here at the end of the final double page layout. You'll see that I moved around a couple of the stickers. I'm really pleased with how this came out. And I think the pictures really show how Biscuit is today. And I'm so grateful to have her in my life. This layout is actually going to be part of a big gift package to my hubby for his birthday, which is just three days after Biscuit. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful crafty day.